Good evening. So, actually, morning. No. What time is it? No. <coughs> eight fifteen or eight seventeen. It's balmy uh, morning, and uh, can check the weather quick. Ooh. Oh, oh, whole thirty four degrees. And uh it can't really do much right now outside, so what I'm doing is I'm doing a little experiment uh with my toys here. And uh I got these little things for you more adventurous ones. So 0.6 ounce bottles, four of them, glass, screw on top, and uh Five of these uh, 0.2 ounce ones at the Dollar Tree. Uh, actually, in the craft section, I really should be very careful. What I'm doing today is uh, this is la one of uh, last year's uh, crops of ours of um, chocolate Trinidad scorpions. These things were a hoot to grow, and uh, they uh, peg out at 1.2 to 2 million Scoville units now. This with a lot of our dried uh, veggies and everything we keep in uh, the half gallon jars and um, <laughs> in the garage. And this puppy has been over for about seven months or so and uh, very aromatic. Um, I'm trying to take what I'm doing right here is I'm going to save, try and um, these are dehydrated. So I don't know if the seeds are going to work, but I'm going to keep these little bad boys as a little experiment. So... Yeah, every time you hear it, bored, holy shit. They're, yeah, there's part of my French, but. Yeah. This is, this is pretty, uh, pretty intense here. It should be wearing gloves, but, yeah. So, anyway, what? Even put it right next to me, but I don't oh, need gloves. Yeah. yeah, I know I'm a man. I don't need gloves. She's just gonna hear my pissing more later, if nothing else. And yeah, she did, y'all. You know, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna save her rear end. She did put these through it. I don't need gloves. Too much crap around me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway, yeah. So, at any rate, so I'll let her think she's right. So, that's just the unselfish guy I really am. Right on. Yeah, I knew you'd see it my way. So anyway, what we got in here in the 0 0.6 milliliters, I'm thinking. And, uh, oh, crud. Let me go down here a little bit more, and these, uh, yeah, this is, uh, turning out to be a slightly revolting predicament. Ha, cha, cha. So, I'm uh, sitting there getting, uh, getting a little issue with her chicken cloth here and that and peppering it up so you get that right here. And um, anyway, this is about the average size of chocolate Trinidad Scorpion that um, uh, was dehydrated. Um, uh, most of them, some of them weren't fully... Uh, turned because um we had to get these out um before the last frost these things i'll tell you what these things uh literally bloom non-stop almost all year so i really can't complain i think we bought them in maybe april last year for three bucks at mills fleet farm and i'm i'm not a fan of a lot of these stores up here but i'll tell you what that one um and some of their plants did suck, their peppers did not, but, you know, get them before there's a chance of frost, because there was an art frost, after we went back to get some more, and they look like crap, they really did, but these ones actually, uh, blossomed and everything to, well, until we yanked them out, maybe around the end of October, and that they were still going strong, and, uh, we had... 
What did we get? I think we got two chocolate Trinidad Scorpions. No, three. Three of the Trinidad Scorpions. Uh, three of the regular Trinidad Scorpions and uh, two Reapers. The Reapers were a lot smaller and um, I didn't I didn't like how they ended up because they kept falling off and all that, but we got a good share. We probably got about 80, 90 off them, and I know I caught 140 chocolate scorpions at the end of uh, when we took them off. So, anyway, and yeah, they're pretty strong yet. So, anyway, this right here, I'm going to figure six of these will give you one ounce powder right here and this is probably enough for about three pots of chili at least so you're talking one pepper sample for a pot of chili so this right here we're talking if I smash this down I'm going to see six probably get about three ounces to this thing so but yeah um for your little science experiments and everything and uh you you may want to actually pick some of these little bottles up again um they're under yes you know, crafter square mini glass containers um oh made in china there's a big surprise oh well, actually i know it's by green briar international which is you know basically very important chesapeake virginia a yeah, good old american liberal area there eh anyway so, uh, yeah, these things um, uh, are actually a pretty good deal here. You're not going to get them any cheaper than that. And um, So I would recommend getting some of these. They appear to hold pretty good. Um, so, at the very least, they're good enough for storing small seed sta samples and that are a little experimenting. So, and, uh, again, that's... You get rid of right here kind of show you that's kind of how they end up in that so you might want to really wash these all good before you use them again if you're using a mortar and pestle which i am because i'll tell you straight up i'm not and it's a pain but i'll tell you what i am not going to sit there and risk filthing up a food processor where it's going to be next to impossible to use should i miss a few of these crumbs and I'm sorry, it's uh, powder like this would not be too hard. You could you could buy one of those mini coffee grinders for about six bucks at Wally World, but I'll tell you right now, I would not, I will not bet. I probably bet you almost anything you will not get anything out of there, all that flavor out of there. So I mean, it'd be kind of pointless. So unless you're gonna unless you're gonna build buy small grinders with just for use of one of these. I probably would not, I really would not risk it, so, yeah, so I can get a little bit more into here, so, yeah, it's, um, using a real tiny cooking funnel, um, and that, and, I mean, these, these things are kind of expensive, the mortar and pestle, they are worth it, um, but, uh, honestly, uh, yeah, they're, um, uh, you know, they should be used for, this and this alone. Um, that one I got for like four bucks used in that. Um, uh, Myers does sell some bigger ones, maybe about that big around, about nine inches across for about 20 bucks. And they're freaking huge. They, uh, as a matter of fact, when you lift up the box, you're going to have to use two hands or the box will probably break under its own weight. So, yeah, so there you have it. Roughly a little bit more than a half ounce. A chocolate Trinidad scorpion pepper. And then um, uh, I got a little experiment for my wife performing next time she does some planting. Or maybe if it gets good enough uh, today, warm enough like they're saying it's supposed to, we'll be able to do that. So, at any rate, that's a little quick video for you. And I'm basically done. So... Enjoy, and I'll try and make another one later, so, salam.